Set. This is my favorite assessment workout. It is tech. You're going to do three rounds of 14 burpee box overs, and then you're going to knock out 10 snatches as quickly as you can. And you want to time yourself and try to get through it as fast as freaking possible. Your lungs are going to burn. Your body's going to burn, but that's okay. Cause it's oh. only three rounds. So this is rep number five for me. And one thing that I do personally to help myself get through it a little bit more is instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I'm only on the first out of three rounds, I'll go, okay, after this round, I only have two more rounds left. And when I'm on the round of two or on my second round, I think to myself, I only have one more round after this versus going like, oh my gosh, I'm only in the middle of my second round. I think of what's left versus what I actually have to do, if that makes sense. And mentally it just makes it a lot possible or a lot easier on myself. And this workout, any help that you can get to stay mentally strong is really beneficial. So we are almost done. We are on our final burpee box over, and this is a 16 inch box, by the way, immediately grab that kettlebell and start knocking out those snatches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, fast transition over to the other hand. One, two, three, four. Remember to breathe with every rep too. Five. Come on, you got it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We actually created, well, I can't take full credit. My husband actually created this assessment workout years ago for us to both challenge each, each other and kind of see who could do better because I'm very competitive. And I love this workout so much. And it is also so hard that I've actually brought it into training for Fit Ones Weekly Live as well. And we spent a month with our kettlebell classes. So just once a week for a month, focusing on trying to improve this time. And there was a goal that I'd had from the time we first started doing it where I wanted to knock this out in under six minutes. I never thought that it was possible. I will say I did do it. I think I did it in a time of 557, though in today's workout, it's been a hot minute and I'm not going to quite break that record, but for not doing it in over a year, I'm pretty proud of myself on this. We are at, this is my ninth rep. We're almost done. 10. Eleven, and if your legs start to get super heavy and you just lose the ability to jump up on your box, it is fine to start stepping over the box. Sometimes that can be even faster. There's thirteen. One more. And there's fourteen. All right, take a big deep breath. I was so glad that my husband Dan was filming this so that he could kind of give me that like, come on, you're doing good. Keep going. <laughs> Snatch. There's one, two, three, four, five. And I am using a 35 pound kettlebell. That's pretty much the standard weight for women when it comes to kettlebell test. Eight, nine, and 10. Come on, straight to the other side. Oh, take a deep breath, walk it around. On, give this us a This is about the time that you start to feel that burn in your lungs, but you also know like you can do this. <laughs> You've done more than what you have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You only have one more round left, or in the way that I like to think about it, go for the last this round. round You're you on time. <laughs> Push through just a little bit more. There's one. There's two. I also love or not also, I always love going into something like this where you're going for rounds for time, thinking, oh my gosh, at the end, I'll just put my foot on the accelerator, give it everything that I have and finish with a negative split. 
it's all great going into the workout. And then once you're actually in the workout, you're like, oh my God, I can't move any faster. My legs feel like cement. <laughs> my body is tired. And you just have to give it your putting the gas on the accelerator may not be what you had in mind, but at the same time, it's all that you got. So give it everything. We're almost there. There's nine. Ten. Starting to slow down a little bit. Come on. Eleven. Twelve. Two more. You might be wondering like, oh my gosh, 14 is so many. Why do you have to do 14 burpee box jump overs? You're 10 seconds away from six minutes. It's part of the mental minutes. challenge of this. If you have to go to 10, you're like, okay, I can go to 10. 12, okay, it's only two more. But getting to 14 takes a lot of mental strength as well. And it just makes it that much sweeter when you get through this workout and you're able to do it at a pretty fast time. And last bit, there's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, come on. Last ten reps. One, two, three, four, five. As my dad would say, he did yell out during a challenge one time. <laughs> he goes, come on, Kendall, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. And at this point... That is the exact comment I had in my head. Nine Stop it. and 10. Done. 6.43. And there's no way that I could be all smiled. Dan wanted me to give a big old flex at the end. But that's all I got. <laughs>